One of my favorite things to do is always find new and interesting ways to share things with people because sharing is caring. So today we're going to look at onion share. So what exactly is onion share? Well, onion share does several things all at once really quickly and conveniently uh, for you. So first off, the best way to install it, I just used apt, uh, sudo apt install onion share. It's in the default uh, Debian repositories. Once it's installed, there's a, both a GUI version and a command line version. Um, the GUI version is kind of straightforward. I'm gonna walk through the command line version because I feel like that's the better tool. I feel like you might be using this on a remote machine to share things. You may not be able to share the other way around. So I already did a onion share uh, help and I've played with this a little bit before and I realize stay open is a really important key here. So what this does is in one command, it generates a brand new Tor instance. Tor, if you don't know, is the, the dark web, I guess you call it. Uh, I, it's basically a routing system of different networks. I'll have a link to the Tor project down below so you can learn more, but it, it's basically like a tunneling system for networks and allows you to host websites and this actually when you run this program, it generates a tiny little website that all it does is share the file you want to share. So anyone with a access to the Tor network can grab that file. And it doesn't matter if you are behind a firewall because it, it digs through with its super onion powers. So in here, I have a little file here. I just made a little test audio file. This is a test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this in the terminal and open up Tor browser and retrieve the file. Onion share. Stay, I think it was open. Was it open? And then test. See, now it's creating the Tor network. It's connecting, connected to the nodes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, usually goes faster, but my internet's a little on the slow side tonight. 85%. We are connected and now it's going to generate a little tiny web server and that little web server will be, it'll print out the URL that we can access through the Tor network. There we are. It is now running at this uh, long address here. Now you could try to save this address, but as soon as I'm done running the server, this server technically doesn't exist anymore. Copy link address. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Tor browser, establish my connection. I'm going to move this over to the other screen because we don't need to look at it. It's just, just know that it is still running as we connect here. So now we're going to go to the, the tiny little server that we are running in the browser over here. Oh, I'll bring this over so you can see it, but it shows up that something is connected. And here it is, the wave file. So we click here, download files. Okay, download file. I'm going to find a good spot for it. Save file. Other locations, computer, home, my website, desktop. There we go. It's going to save the zip file. And sure enough, 100% of the file was transferred. Now, feel free to try this with your buddies. It totally works. So I'm going to close to our browser. Kill this server. I'm going to go to the desktop. Unzip the onion share file. This is a test. Still there, still rocking and rolling. Pretty neat, right? Very useful. It is using a, almost a direct connection between two computers. It just uses the Tor network to kind of bridge that connection. So you could do terabytes, get, uh, petabytes. You could go crazy with it. Again, your mileage may vary based on your and your recipient's connection, but uh, it's secure, it's uh, reasonably efficient, um, definitely worth checking out. All right, but I guess I'll see you guys on the next one.